Hello beautiful tingly people How are you? I hope you're doing really well Another close up video for you I've been making two videos a week for a long time and pressed pause a little bit over the last two weeks just to get some jobs done things organised get my life in order ready for the next season autumn winter videos and, uh, of course it's the summer holiday still children go back to school soon our daughter is going to university next month we just got the news update on the sanctuary too. Uh, there isn't much more we can do with it until we are a registered charity. So I'm working on the paperwork for that which is a lot. Once I have more to tell I will make uh, an update video. Sorting out a pile of stuff in my office and came across this box here. I remember it arriving and uh, I've not had a chance to show it to you yet. up and thought, now's the time. And it's perfect timing as well. With me are going to university. This is the perfect gift from me to her to celebrate. I can pop it in her mum's care package. So there is a, a lady on Instagram and her name is Veronica Dearly. I've been following her for quite a while and I find her really really lovely, very funny, very talented and uh, she wrote a book had a book published and um, the publishers asked if they could send a gift to me which I was very happy about and uh, here it is I wanted to share it with you so this is a gift unboxing and you'll see why it's the perfect leaving home university gift It's a rather large box. I took off all the labels on the top, barcodes and other codes and things, information. And we're left with this box that's travelled, shall we say. magical inside. So because it's quite large I'm going to open it, take everything out, pop it on 
on the table for us and we're going to explore the contents together. So let's get started. Here we are. Her book, her box, a little package, and a letter. And it says, Hello, you wonderful human. I'm so excited to enclose a copy of my new book. How to do hard things. It's been a real dream come true to write my own actual real life book about my own actual real life experiences. I've covered a lot of topics in there. I mean, I basically try to cover every area of life. So I hope as you look through something that really jumps out at you. Along with the book, I've enclosed a couple of gifts that I hope will do nothing more than raise a smile and brighten up your day a little bit. If you'd like to share any photos, please feel free to tag us on Instagram at Veronica Dearly. So we don't miss them. So if you're on Instagram, check out her account because it's funny. It brightens up my day when I look at it anyway. Got all the colours on the letter. to do. 
do hard things. Actual real life advice on friends, love, career, well-being, mindset and more. So this is a lovely gift, isn't it? And um, I love the artwork. Solid ideas for getting your <coughs> together. So I know that some of you watch these videos with your children and I can't guarantee that there won't be any swears in this video but I won't say them, okay? So the sound will be safe. <laughs> Let's have a little look through. And I probably should also say, and I should have said before, that this video is not sponsored as well. It's just a, a gift that I wanted to share. And I knew it would sound nice too. So, uh, Veronica is uh, an illustrator. If she doesn't have a range of Greetings cards, then I hope she does one day because they'd be really good. Maybe she has. Introduction. Life is hard. Life is complicated. It's just full of really down to earth advice and stories and um, I feel like it's very English as well which I really like her humour is to me very English and timeless but they just kept coming. Feeling your feelings. We spend a lot of time being told to push our emotions down and pretend we don't feel them. So it's no wonder we tend to just say that. We say, I'm fine, I'm okay. Even when we're absolutely not okay. Even when the person asking, you can tell you aren't okay. Something easier to pretend you are to avoid an awkward conversation where you actually acknowledge that you aren't a robot person. I'm not going to give away a lot, but I just wanted to um, give a gist. It's very nurturing advice. Expectations put on how our bodies look and work, but also on how we should feel about them. I think by now we are all more than aware that if you, that if we could just fall in love with ourselves, body and mind, then we could all live happily ever after. But falling in love with yourself can be much easier said than done. things you might not always have been very fond of but now you've come to accept as being perfectly fine and okay beautiful 
beauty comes in all shapes and sizes. Comparison is the thief of all joy, but it's totally normal. So, advice on comparing yourself to others of yourself, how you look, how you feel, who you are, your body, uh, chapter 3, beliefs, if Victorian doctors could believe that some people had ghosts in their blood or whatever, you can probably believe in yourself a little bit. I make a short list of things I've done that I previously never believed I would ever be able to do. Being kind to yourself is something that's so important and something we need to learn to do. At times I'm so hard on myself and so set goals that just are not attainable in terms of things like a list of things I think I can do in one day and when I get half of the list done I think I failed but actually half of the list was more than normally uh, you could fit in one day <laughs> we have to be kind to ourselves and um, I've said it so many times And some people never learn it. So if you're learning now, whatever age you are, you're doing really well. Detoxifying your life. Drama-free zone, drama-free zone. I deserve to be free of toxic influences. the first day of the rest of your life, so why not give yourself a lovely present? Hmm. Learning to rest. I think all of those things, all of these things come from the basis, the foundation of being a good person with good intentions. And when you're a good person with good intentions, you can forget about yourself and think a lot about others. So, uh, sometimes we need to just rein that back a little bit and um, focus on ourselves. Like, uh, when you're on a plane and they tell you to pop on your mask, your, your oxygen mask before helping others to put theirs on. It's the same principle. You build yourself, take care of yourself, be the best person that you can be, be strong, be healthy as much as you can, and then you can help others and be a good person in the world. Being good at stuff is fun, sure, but have you ever tried being really bad at something and still enjoying it and not giving a single Life is complicated. Life doesn't come with a manual, but this guide to navigating its ups and downs and WTFs 
is the next best thing. With her trademark humour and engaging frankness, artist Veronica Dearly explores key areas of life, from mental health and the dangers of overthinking, to body image, career, love, family, money and friends, helping you realise that you really can do hard things. Find your direction, set your goals, prepare for change. in this box. I have a, a good idea but I haven't opened it yet so let's see. Hopefully it's not too noisy. If it is you'll see a little fade in and fade out. wrapped in wrapping paper with her name on. That's a nice, nice little touch. see this is a mug and look at what it says that's so cool your face is my happy place and inside there's some um, Pink tissue paper. All these little details are so lovely. Thank you. 
tissue paper is really nice. It's, it's very fine, so it has a nice sound. Just like the blue one. Same color as the artwork on the outside, and it really does smell of bubblegum. This is gold. Um, if you ever see this far. you for this lovely gift or gifts and uh, I wish you all the best with everything that you do. Keep uh, making your videos on your Instagram and keep doing amazing things because it's uh, spreading joy and uh, fun and laughs and happiness. And I know that uh, my daughter will get a lot of goodness from this and uh, her friends when they come into her uni room. A room at Halls in uni. Candle will fill the halls. If they're allowed to burn candles, that is, I think they are. If not, she'll just have to smell it. Tapping on the bottom before we say goodnight. I hope you enjoyed the colours and the sounds of this unboxing video. And good night. I'll see you.
you very soon. I shall be smiling at you very soon as well. I'm smiling now. As soon as I get myself organised, it won't be long. A couple of days, I think. Uh, lots of love. Sweet dreams to you. And 